it's April 10th, 2022. Oh, and these little quail. I was just quietly admiring them, and then I thought, oh, I should get that on film. So I think guess they went into that bush. Anyway, good opportunity to show what we're doing today. Uh, let's see, we are putting more trees in boxes. The mulberry, the fruitless plum. So, I'll take more pictures. But again, April 10th, 2022. Trying not to move too fast, but I can hear Tim coming behind me. The tractor. eight trees today so there's a mulberry and then there's two of the I mean we just did six so the two mulberries down there and then across on the other side of the driveway are two more fruit um, those are the fruitless plums so we did four fruitless plums today move too fast and then this is actually a fruited mulberry and then the other fruited mulberry so see how pretty she is these guys are so ready for their boxes and we're gonna leave in for I don't know at least a year and then I was just reflecting of how we take water for granted but yet how it's such a an amazing feat that um, we got this property with a well on it and, and then got it of course checked and it's really good water and I don't know feeling very blessed that we have water to uh, water our trees and the steer and ourselves and now we're even looking at getting some guinea fowl to kind of keep down the snakes. So anyway, definitely a fun project Tim and I are enjoying together and another day of blessings. So here we are, April 10th and just a nice, nice day to reflect upon our blessings. All right, everybody, that's it for now. Bye. Oh, here, let's get in the sunset. No, not much sunset yet. Oh, a cactus pile. <laughs> All right. That's it for now. Bye. All righty. I thought we'd take a quick little walk through the orchard and look at the yummies. Let's see what this is. Plum? What is it? Ooh, those are apricots. Yum. Apricots. Okay. We'll dip under here. If we see any bugaboos, we, yep, we treat them with neem oil. So that keeps the bugaboos away. We had some bugaboos trying to get to this tree but we nipped it in the bud they're all gone just keeping an eye on it let's see we got to figure out what's nibbling on these leaves deal with that that is to a cherry tree 
Uh, let's see what else we have here. Mm hmm. Oh, Granny Smith's. This is the one that had the really pretty red bud on it. You kind of see one there. Very pretty. And here's some pomegranates. We have a total of three pomegranate bushes. And this is two of them here. So they're not planted in the boxes yet. And they're ready to go though. And I wanted to share <laughs> this is our security guard. <laughs> Let's see. We have two more fruitless plums that we can put up the driveway, but we need more um, mulberries. These are the almond trees. Oh, look at how fun that is. There's an almond for you. And here's another almond. And this is the fun fig tree. It has some good sized figs coming on it already. So that's pretty exciting. Still needs to be planted. Process not to video in that direction. Could be dangerous. Let's see. Let's come over here to the other fig tree. That is, so this is the fruitless plum. And that's the fig. So, kind of fun. And then you have the pavilion. And then, let's see. So yeah, that's across the valley. Oh, here, we'll show the steer because we have to be current with the boys. So, said that uh, the one with the white on its face was prancing and dancing around this evening. We're going to put up some sun umbrellas to give them some shade. This week's supposed to be really nice and cool, so they won't be using it for another week, but it will be ready for them. So, all right. That's it for now. More later. Bye.